desire. The desire, right. So do you, do Jains meditate? Yeah, yeah. So, so Jains but meditate. The meditate, but you meditate to the soul, that I am soul. Oh, okay. That's the meditation. So it's, it's turned in. Turned in. It's That's turned right. in. Um, St. Teresa of Avila, uh, again, different, diff very different verbiage, but talked about meditation inward, right. into the interior castle, right. um, and, the, and the core, the very core was your own, was God, which was in you, not out there, up there, but in you. So how interesting. After soul realization, the person stays on the path, progressing, and at some stage, renunciate worldly life to become a monk. He will continuous, with by continuous efforts, shed all karmas and attain full knowledge, and becomes omniscient. Those are called Aryanta. So in the beginning, in the prayer, remember we had that. And, and they have a, a complete knowledge. So Aryantas, after end of their life, join with the other pure souls known as Siddhas. So those are the Siddhas, that pure conscious, pure soul. Both Aryantas and Siddhas are worshipped considered as God. Okay. Okay. The time cycle is made up of two ascending and descending time cycle. So very, very long, enormous long. We are now in a descending time. So every half cycle, 24 Tirthankaras are born at intervals. And Bhagwan Mahavir was the 24th and the last Tirthankar of this cycle, this time cycle. Now he achieved moksha. Yes. Correct. Okay. This liberation or moksha is only possible from human life as they possess more intelligence who can judge right from wrong and can put more efforts required for liberation. Okay, so that means that because all living beings are souls. That's right, but. Right. But only, moksha is only possible. From human life. From a human life. But not realization, as a cat or dog. but listen, but realization can happen in animal life too. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. Five cents to animal, not lower animal. Okay. Animals with the like cows or dog or those those which have the five cents like human beings. Okay. And the mind. So that that can happen. It's rare. Okay. It's rare because they do not have uh, enough intelligence, so they cannot do efforts in this life. Okay. But if they were so close in the past life, they can have that. Okay. But they're they're limited from that last step, the right. moksha, right? Okay, they yeah. have to become human. In yeah, they to have to become, become human. human. That's correct. Okay. According to Jainism, all living beings have ability to get purified and potential to become Aryanta and Siddha. That is the reason Jain refrain from unnecessary violence. This reverence for life made them vegetarian as one sensed plant are the lowest form of life. So to minimize the violence, they only eat vegetables or, or vegetarian food. Okay. To minimize. That does not mean that they do not have life. They have, but it's a lower form of life, so we cannot sense them suffering. So for your satisfaction, okay. The body's satisfaction. Right. Are you, are you vegan? 
I am not vegan. We consume milk. Okay. But no eggs. But no eggs. No. But okay. uh, traditionally we do. My brother is vegan. But uh, I was for two years, but then I gave up because it's it's very difficult because in our home we use milk a lot. Sure. So every time they have to make something special for us. So. It's just but it's easier. It's easier that way. But so wherever you go outside, it's vegetarian food is difficult enough, and if on the top mm -hmm. of that you are vegan, then it's more. Mm -hmm. Well, and I get the reason why you're vegetarian but don't eat eggs. That makes perfect sense. And why milk is okay, because milk is is a gift from an animal, but not an animal itself. Right. Or not potentially an animal itself, whereas right. an egg would be right. potentially an animal. Okay. Right. Very good. Perfect sense. Oh my gosh, I'm understanding. <laughs> 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 now, this actually I wrote it because uh, Claudia had to do a project, so she asked me some questions. Yeah. So some of them are in, in the respond to her questions. So okay. it says, how are your children doing? So it says, our children learn these values from childhood and learn to respect life like their parents. They face some hurdles and difficulties when they go out for education and job, but they learn to manage. Anyone can become a Jain. Now this is this was also in response to her question. With right perception in path shown by omniscience, right knowledge about the true nature of the soul and the body and right conduct comes from right knowledge and perception one can walk on the path toward moksha. Hmm. The last Tirthankar Bhagavan Mahavir was a great reformer of his time. He allowed women, persons belonging to any caste into his congregation. In Jainism, only virtues are important and not the person. The very good example of this is the Jain prayer, now called mantra, where they bow to persons with certain qualities and not any particular person is mentioned. Now this is the nine fundamentals. So there are nine. It is important to know nine fundamentals shown by Jain scripture. Those are Jeev or soul or non-living, merit karmas, demerit karmas, inflow of karmas, binding of karma to the soul, stopping the incoming karmas, shedding of the accumulated karmas, and moksha. Mm -hmm. So these nine fundamental principles, those are known as the Nautatos. 